Assalamu alaikum and good afternoon. Uh, welcome back to our class. So before I begin, uh, before we begin our tutorial seven, uh, let us uh, review a little bit uh, the uh, variation variation of parameter method uh, to solve the non-homogeneous ODE. And we review a little bit uh, the spring mass system and also the electric circuit. So you can see here this is the general form of our uh, uh, second order uh, non homogeneous ODE. And then we need to, uh, I've, we already. Actually, it's in in week seven we did uh, study uh, the method to find this uh, the solution of this uh, ODE. But uh, uh, besides, I mean, besides uh, the, that method, I mean, guesswork method, we also can use the variation of uh, parameter method. So the variation of parameter method. You can see here, it's this is general form again. The, the solution of this uh, second ODE is equal to particular solution of uh, non-homogeneous ODE. Okay, non-homogeneous ODE uh, plus the general solution of the homogeneous ODE of the previous equation. And then uh, the particular solution is equal to uh, this. Uh, equation and then we need to find uh, we need to find u and v and u and v is uh, is the uh, it's equal to this term okay integration of this term and v also equal to this integration of this term so meaning that we need to find you know white one white one and white two so where this y1 and y2 come from? It's come from the general solution. General solution of this uh, homogeneous ODE of this this uh, equation. Okay. So uh, so that's why here this is example. We need to find this. Uh, see that? We need to find this the general solution of uh, this uh, homogeneous. Uh, ODE and then we get uh, Y1, Y2 and then Y1, uh, Y2 dash minus Y dash Y1 dash Y2 uh, you uh, uh, put all the uh, result together you will get the result here this is the result and then we go to U okay so this is U this is the result and then it's V, and then after that we can calculate the uh, uh, y, y P. Okay, yes, this is Y P. And then uh, so this is the particular solution. Okay, particular solution. So we put it in here. And then after that, we can we uh, seen white one and white two is already known. Okay, white white one is white one and white two, which is uh, the result of uh, general f the, uh, the general solution of uh, homogeneous. So here we have in the previous time we put it uh, like. Uh, y here is equal to uh, actually is uh, a is uh, lambda uh, one x okay plus b uh, e lambda two x lambda x like this is lambda two x. Okay, so here we replace this one. 
so this is the so this is the y okay and then we get the uh, the solution of this uh, non homogeneous uh, second second order non homogeneous ODE like this okay so for the spring mass system uh, okay perhaps we okay so the spring mass is uh, uh, we may encounter the word over them and the dam and uh, critical dam. Okay. So this is the graph represent uh, like uh, under dam. Okay, so this is under dam graph. This is a critical dam grass, and this is over dam grass. Okay. So how, uh, what is the what the system look like if it is uh, like over dam, critical dam, or under dam? So I have a video. Uh, for this okay so something uh, like this okay so this is damping Under dam, critical dam, and over dam. So, So this is uh, this is undamp, meaning that the oscillation of this uh, damping system, the oscillation of this one is is like perfectly fit like this, meaning that they have no uh, obstacle when this uh, mass is move. When the we when the mass is move, meaning that they have no friction. Uh, easy simple word is no friction so meaning that the friction is only air in here so usually air is uh, if the if the system is like the air the effect from the air is very minimal so this is can be neglect so when it is can when it is can be neglect you can see the graph is uh, something like this oxidation is like almost the same the same magnitude okay but but this one is a really perfect uh, situation. So uh, mostly in our world, it's it's we cannot get uh, this kind of perfect uh, undam like this. So usually maybe you know at least we have a air friction. It's like the velocity from the air, so it will make this damping like slow down uh, uh, from time to time, and or sometimes this uh, mass is well let's say you let the mass is moving inside the uh, inside the water the fluid so you can see it will uh, the fluid will uh, play as an obstacle an obstacle for the uh, the movement or the motion of this uh, or this mass uh, over the spring so like that So like, okay. So this is under dam. This is under dam. So meaning that uh, uh, the mass is a drop, and then after that it will uh, slow down from time to time. So this is under dam. Okay. Okay. This is under dam. 
so so this is over them so meaning that uh, you can see here okay so this is over them let's see so meaning this okay so like this over them so it will it will go to the equilibrium stage without any oscillation see that just drop and then no oscillation at all so this is uh, over them okay so this is a critical dam see that the over them so so this is uh, the damping system so if you want to watch it again so please go to this website okay so this is the website you can go Okay, so if you have any question, please uh, put into the journal. I will try to reply you as soon as possible. Okay, back to our uh, review. Okay, so uh, I did explain to you about this damping system. So uh, we are going to see this one in the tutorial. So I will go. I will make uh, the detailed explanation in of the force system uh, in the tutorial. Okay, so this is and uh, um, uh, not difficult. We just plug in everything and then try to calculate. So we have three cases as I present to you. We have over damping, uh, under damping, and a critical damping. So when you have this one, over damping, here is a represent by uh, this uh, quantity, but in reality, it's uh, something related to the friction and the load. Okay. Okay. Then. Uh, all right. So we have this one. This is a circuit. So I hope that uh, this one no problem. Uh, I mean this equation because this is uh, the how to say uh, I already explained to you this is loss in the circuit based on the uh, Kirchhoff Kirchhoff law circuit law. Okay, we call it KV KVL law KVL Kirchhoff. Uh, voltage law okay so meaning that the uh, loss of the voltage the loss in the system is uh, equal to the loss the loss of voltage in the system is equal to uh, the, the the loss uh, uh, the loss in each component in the system Okay, so this should should not be no problem. And then after that, I think many students have problem with the uh, with this. Why we have uh, okay? This is uh, the uh, uh, non-homogeneous. I mean, this is a homogeneous secondary homogeneous ODE. ODE and then suddenly we have M square something so in here actually is uh, something like this uh, we have I here so we let I is equal to okay we let I is equal to uh, E uh, M X okay. E M 
x so that's why we have we have uh, uh, derivative first derivative of i of i so is equal to m e m x and then we have i's second derivative we got m square okay m square x eh, sorry e m x so we replace this one into this main equation okay so we will get uh, m square uh, e m x plus phi m e m x plus 4 e m x equal to equal to 0 and then actually okay let us uh, combine this so we have m e x m square plus 5 m plus 4 equal to 0 so sin e m x is different of 0 so you can see this is exponential num value is it cannot be 0 so we will get there m square plus 5x by m plus 4 equal to 0 see okay so that's why you have this one that's why you have this uh, a quadratic equation okay so you got you still remember that ta is equal to b square minus 4ac right okay so we will be equal to 5 square minus 4 multiply with 1 multiply with c is 4 so we will get there uh, we will get the uh, mm, 25 minus uh, 16 so we will equal to equal to 9 okay so that die equal to 9 and then as you know the m 1 and 2 is equal to minus b plus and minus of that da divided by uh, uh, 2a okay. so it will be equal to minus 5 plus minus that da is a 3 by 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 2 so we will get m1 is equal to 5 minus 5 plus 3 is minus 2 minus 2 divided by minus 2 is is uh, okay take from here so meaning that 5 plus 3 is 8 8 divided by 2 is minus 4 and then we have another one m2 is equal to 5 plus 3 minus 5 plus 3 is 2 2 divided by 2 it will be minus 1 okay so this and this are the same okay replace it in our equation because our main equation is i okay so in the main equation you will get there we will get there this uh, 
result okay? and try to find a particular solution in here it's not that difficult all right so 